Um, well, basically, like, hmm, filler words. What are filler words? Well, filler words are meaningless words that fill a pause. Okay, so very often when we're speaking, uh, there's a pause in our speech. Okay, and then we put a meaningless word in that pause just to fill the space. Okay, those are called filler words. So this guy says, how many rubles are there in a dollar? And he says, I think there are, um, 50? I think there are, um, 50? So why does he put this word in here? It's because there's a pause here. There's a pause here because he's thinking, right? So he puts this word in there. Okay, so here are some very common filler words that we use in English. Um, uh, like, hmm, well, basically, literally, okay, so, now. Take a look at this example. This guy says, how do you ask a girl out? Okay, ask a girl out means to ask her on a date. Okay, so he wants to know, how do you ask a girl out? And this guy says, um, well, basically, like, you just ask her. Um, well, basically, like, you just ask her. You look at all these words here. All these words are filler words. We have one, two, three, four. Four filler words here. Okay, now, native English speakers know when a word is a filler word. But very often, English learners don't know that. So an English learner might look at this sentence and think, okay, what does this mean? Uh, here we have a, an adverb, an adverb, a verb. Uh, what's the structure of this sentence? Okay, but native English speakers know that this is not important. There is no structure. Okay, um, well, basically like... We could move these words around because these are just filler words. Okay, so the order doesn't matter. For example, I could say, well, like, um, basically, you just ask her. Okay, or uh, basically, um, well, like, you just ask her. Okay, so I can move these words around. There's no set order. Now, why do we use filler words? Why do we use filler words? Well, we, we do it for a few reasons. Okay, one reason is to stall for time. To stall for time. Okay, look at this situation. Here's a husband and a wife. And the wife says, you forgot our anniversary. You forgot our anniversary. And the husband says, um, uh, shoot. He knows he's in trouble, right? She's mad. She says, you forgot our anniversary. And he doesn't know what to say. So he's stalling for time. He knows that he needs to make up a good excuse. Right? He needs to say something, but he doesn't know what to say. So he wants time to stop so he can think of something to say. So we call that stalling for time. Okay? He says, um, uh... Okay, now another reason we add filler words is to add emphasis to uh, something that we're saying. Okay, look at this. She says, I wish he would just ask me out already. Okay, so she likes a guy and she wants that guy to ask her out on a date. So she says, I wish he would just like ask me out already. So where is the filler word in this sentence? Which word is the filler word? It's the word like, okay? I wish he would just like ask me out already. Okay, this word here is also a filler word. So like and already mean that she's a bit frustrated. Okay, she's getting a bit impatient. She just wants him to ask her out now, okay? I wish he would just like ask me out already. Or look at this example. That's literally the worst movie I've ever seen. Okay, what's this word here for? That's literally the worst movie I've ever seen. This word is to add emphasis. 
Okay, actually, it's not the worst movie he's ever seen. He's seen worse movies. But he's saying this to add emphasis uh, to the fact that it was a really bad movie. The movie was really bad, so it was literally the worst movie I've ever seen. Okay, this is called exaggeration. Exaggeration, when we're making something a little bit bigger than it really is. Okay, now another reason we add filler words is to make a statement less harsh. Okay, harsh means like rude or aggressive or mean. Okay, this girl says, that shirt makes you um, look a bit fat. Okay, let's say me and you are out shopping and you tell me, Mark, that shirt makes you look a bit fat. Okay, I try on a new shirt and you tell me, that shirt makes you look a bit fat. Okay, that would be a little bit rude, right? That's a bit harsh if you tell me that I look fat. Okay, but you can make it a little bit less harsh if you use the word um. You could say, that shirt makes you um, look a bit fat. Okay, it's still a bit rude, but at least it's a little bit less harsh. Okay, now another uh, way we can use filler words is to indicate an awkward situation. Okay, an awkward situation. This thing is called a zipper. Okay, now let's say I go to the bathroom and I come out of the bathroom and you see that my zipper on my pants is down. I forgot to put it up. Okay, then you could tell me, hey, uh, your fly is down. Okay, the word fly, the zipper, the zipper on your pants is called a fly. Okay, so you could say, hey, uh, your fly is down. Okay, it's a bit, it's an awkward situation when you have to tell someone that their zipper is down. But sometimes you need to tell them to save them from embarrassment, right? Let's say we're at a party and you're my friend. You want to save me from going the whole evening with my zipper down, right? Because everyone else is going to notice it. So you're trying to help me. So I'll say, oh, thanks. And I'll zip up my fly. Okay, now another reason uh, we might use filler words is to show that you're thinking. Show that you're thinking, okay? Like this girl. She says 31 plus 23 is uh, 54, okay? She's trying to think. There's a space here. There's a gap. So she needs to fill the gap with some sort of a, a filler word. What's your favorite color? Hmm, I'd say either pink or purple. Okay, what's your favorite color? She needs to think a little bit. Hmm, I'd say either pink or purple. Okay, so here are some filler words that you'll hear me say a lot in my lessons. Okay, so now, how often do I say these words? Probably a lot. Okay, so English isn't the only language that has filler words. I think every language has filler words, okay? For example, Chinese has this filler word, nega. Okay, I lived in China for a while and I heard this word every day. Okay, people would always say nega, uh, nega, 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 okay? They would say this word just to fill a pause, just like we would say, um, or like, okay? Or in Spanish, they say a, like the letter a. They don't say um, they say a, a, okay? We don't say a in English, we say um or a. Uh. Okay, so I wanna know, what are some filler words in your language? Let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.